And the ink did get a bit sticky towards the end, and the ink was sticking to it. can pass that along to Joe. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. So, the first thing we do are flip the acetate back over. So, we clean off the acetate, and we'll do that a bit later on. So we can reuse the ink, so we're going to be putting the ink back into the pot from the squeegee and from the screen. So once you've got the majority of the ink off, you can hand it to your helpful assistant who can go and wipe it down with a damp rag in the sink. I'll be doing some cleaning as well, I won't be doing the rag Scrape off the excess ink from around the screen. Because you haven't got any ink really left in the screen, there's just the last bits, that's going to be drying quite quickly, so you want to work quickly to scrape off the ink from your squeegee and your screen, otherwise it's going to be a lot harder to clean. So when you're using the knife, you always use it this side. You never do that side. That can cause holes. We have got some plastic ones coming, which are less likely to cause holes. But for now, we've got these slightly sharper ones. There's these water sprays around. So you spray, once you've got all the excess ink off, spray it well with water. And then, is there a rag over there, Joe? Holding it to get cleaner parts of the rag. Lots of the ink has come off. And then I also need to take the tape off. And you can see where there's kind of a little bit of ink underneath the tape. very well there's these white bits that are kind of stuck in the image and that's where it's drier ink so I want to really make sure I get those out so use the cleaner rag now once it's clean on the top lift it up <coughs> you can see where the ink's kind of squeezed through underneath more water again and you'll be doing all this with your artwork on Thursday. And so I can see by looking underneath and seeing where the light shines through, there's nothing blocking it that isn't meant to be blocked with the emulsion. So that is nice and clean. Next we can clean off the registration acetate. Again, just with the water and cloths.
little bits of ink that are on the bed as well, make sure they're wiped off. So we keep the acetate over so that no water drips through into the vacuum. So give that a wipe down if there's anything wet there. And then the tape can be taken off with the acetate. We always use the white tape for the acetate because the black, the brown tape kind of sticks, it's too sticky, it stays too long and it can mark on the bed. So because it's only temporary, we use that.